Welcome to the Go Green Design Challenge. Kid Museum and Pepco have teamed up to invite you and your family to design and prototype your own invention to make your home more sustainable. You can develop a better version of something that you already use, come up with an entirely new energy saving device, or design a whole new room. Whatever you decide, this family challenge will develop your maker skills and spark your creativity, all while getting you to think more about how we can all live more sustainably. You'll have two days to brainstorm, develop a design, and build a prototype of your idea. You can spend as much or as little time as you like on it, and all submissions will be entered into our virtual showcase and our raffle. We here at Kid Museum will help you along the way with quick skill building videos that you can find on the Go Green Design Challenge page on our website. In the meantime, you might find some inspiration from Pepco, and in particular, Scott Jaden, who was part of the team of students that invented the Pepco Watershed House as part of a sustainable design challenge. Today, the Watershed House serves as an education center and a model for sustainable living, but let's hear more about it directly from Scott. This is a net zero energy home that runs off of solar energy. The inspiration for the Watershed House actually came from the Chesapeake Bay, thinking about how many ecosystems live there. Reducing that impact to the environment was one of our biggest motives, and how can we do that further upstream in a residential setting? So the design and the actual structure of Watershed translate um, almost 100% to what construction can be in the real world today. Solar panels on top of watershed actually supply more than enough power for watershed and it actually pushes excess power back to the grid. We have some panels on top of the roof. We have some that are actually ground mounted out in the yard. We have a butterfly roof which allows the water to come straight off the roofs concentrated in the center of the house. The solar hot water system actually absorbs the solar heat energy and heats that water throughout the whole house for things like the shower and the sink so we don't have to use electricity or something like gas. The Watershed House really helps to show how everybody can live sustainably. And this is something where you can take individual aspects of the house, whether it's something like insulation of the house, more insulation in the walls. It correlates to you using less electricity inside to cool and heat that space. Even just looking at where you put doors and windows and how big they are, maybe you're going to charge your electric vehicle underneath a solar canopy that's helping to shade that area and creating an outdoor garage. Those are all individual components that you can think about in the design process to truly influence what, what the performance is. After we won the Solar Decathlon with Watershed, it was such an eye-opening moment for me to look at the opportunities and the impact that I can have on the world. And as we start to think about the Go Green Design Challenge, really start to think about what aspects of Watershed you can incorporate into your design. Go out, get some new ideas, think outside of the box, and think about ways we can create a more sustainable future. So let's get started. Think about what in your house can be made more efficient, or what new invention would make your house more sustainable. Perhaps you want to redesign your oven, or redesign a whole room. You won't need any special materials or equipment for this project. Use whatever you have around the house. Cardboard, recyclables, leftover materials from that last home improvement project you never finished. Be resourceful and creative. You have the whole weekend to complete your design, but spend as much or as little time as you like on it. We've put together some skill building videos for you to use, and you'll find those on the Go Green Design Challenge page on our website, along with everything else you need to know for this challenge. All design submissions are due at five o'clock on Sunday afternoon, October 25th. Every design will be featured in our virtual showcase, and every submission will be entered into a raffle. I've been teaching invention education for quite some time now. To unlock the full potential of your ideas, you need to iterate and stay flexible. Don't get bogged down on trying to perfect your first idea. It's okay to change course midstream. Our partnership with Pepco continues this fall with a series of field trips that include 3D design and engineering challenges. Check out our site to find out more. Let's get started. The Go Green Design Challenge has officially begun. I can't wait to see what you come up with.